Welcome to Modern Entrepreneur. Today we have Rachel Schnorr, Joseph Hall, Christine Mims, Holly, Carla Johnson, Elliot, Amy Allen, and Mr. Gard. Welcome to Modern Entrepreneur. I'm Landon, and this is Rachel Miller. She is a serial online entrepreneur and a mom of six kids in five years. She became as, began as a mom blogger, went on to build audiences ranging in the millions. She's a published author of multiple books, including a bestseller that sold more than 100,000 copies. She's been featured on Good Morning America as well as national magazines. In 2017, she began teaching others how to craft their own viral content and help thousands of businesses grow engagement. With her help, her clients have had their content in front of more than 10 million people. Rachel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Though. This is great. So, um, <clears throat> we're not going to talk about how you had five kids. <laughs> in, in, in six kids in five years, um, although maybe we will. But um, but I, I'm going to start again about what it is you actually do. So you you are at home with with five kids in six years, six kids in five years, and you're trying to figure out what the hell am I going to do with myself? And then what happened? Yeah. I was basically just lonely uh -huh. and I needed to make a business that would fill that extrovert need that I have, which uh -huh. is to talk to people yeah. and have people talk to me. Yeah. And so I created content that got people to content engage with what me. Content? Um, it began with kids activities. So yeah. like Play-Doh and like recipes how to make, that your kids, how to make Play-Doh, how to make slime, how to uh -huh. um, cookies oh, your you kids You did not do how to make slime videos. Oh my word, we did. My yeah, daughters yes. probably yes. watch those for days. I know, my uh -huh. daughter now makes them. Oh, oh yeah, so do mine, I got stacks, <laughs> stacks, uh, slime jars. Yeah, so we, we, I started with content and then uh -huh. uh, house hacks to help parents uh -huh. and then it morphed because eventually you get tired of Play-Doh, you get tired of glitter and then Unless it morphed into my second site, which is house tips. So how to repair a garbage disposal, how to buy a vacuum cleaner that you takes care of. You seriously just like whatever, get it on YouTube. Yeah, pretty much, Basically. pretty much. I okay. like collecting people. And so <laughs> I, that's truly what it is. I like collecting people. So I created uh -huh. an audience of preschool parents. Uh -huh. and then I created an audience of people that want to fix their houses. Uh -huh. and then I created an audience of cat lovers. Uh -huh. It's kind of a joke a bit because I actually don't have cats, but uh -huh. it's a longer story than for today. Okay. And then I made an audience of crock pot people. And then I was like, and I also made an audience for makeup and a, a another one. And so I asked a um, hundred of my friends, uh -huh. do you want to do this too? I've made all these audiences. Uh -huh. Do you want to learn how to make an audience? Why would they want to do that? Because they wanted their own businesses. Uh -huh. So and how did you monetize these audiences? Affiliate sales, product sales. I had seven private label products, my books. Uh huh. Um, okay, so then courses. all of a sudden, now they're like, yes, I do want to do this. Uh, yeah, uh, 47 of them on Halloween said yes. On, ha on Halloween. Your, the people you collected to <laughs> come to ones, your house. The other ones didn't know, no. They, or you're, they're I, like trick or treat. You're like, do you want to build an audience? No, no, no. I, there were 100 people on my list. So I started my second business, which is teaching people how to grow audiences with 100 people on okay. my list. Okay. I emailed them on Halloween. Uh. 47 said yes, and the other ones were trick-or-treating with their kids so they didn't get the email. Uh -huh, um, obviously. Yeah, I know. And That's amazing. My business was born, this new business. This new business. And so mm -hmm. now you're teaching people how to build audiences. So how do you do this? Essentially, you want to have conversations with people. Mm -hmm. If you can mirror mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. back to themselves, yeah. they tend to talk to you more. Yeah. So if I sit similar to you, uh -huh. you see that I'm more interested. Uh -huh. So it's the same type of thing that yeah. you do with your audience mm -hmm. like you would do in real life. Mm -hmm. So I just make content that I know my audience would say and about themselves. So I'm curious because you're obviously like an extrovert, as you said, and mm -hmm. an engaging person, okay. somebody that um, will talk to you about cats or crock pots. Um, Gladly. What about... And I don't cook. I, <laughs> I presume that, uh, that not all of the people, the 47 people that started with you, are as engaging of people. Um, how has this process worked for them? We've got, um, we've had 10 people grow audiences, excuse me, we've had 34 people grow audiences to over 10 million, reach a single post to 10 million, and some of those people are, are introverts. Whoa. One of my... Um, clients, uh -huh. she's extreme introvert. You will not see her picture on her, her own wall and uh -huh. I'm friends with her. Uh -huh. So you won't see her online. Mm -hmm. She grew her audience from zero to a million mm. in one year, one month, one week. So even introverts can do this because introverts who love people, it's the same thing. They want to mirror their audience back to them. So it's almost perfect for introverts So as what well. is, um, you, I mean, sitting like me is one thing, but how do you mirror somebody on Instagram? Well, I'm a geeky mom. Mm. So what does a geeky mom want to say about herself to mm -hmm. her friends? Mm. What kind of content does she want to engage with? What kind of posts would she say? Mm -hmm. So she might talk about how she was playing Dungeons and Dragons with her tween, right? Mm -hmm. That might be something she would talk about. So how mm -hmm. can you position that content as if she was saying it? Mm -hmm. 
Because people want to know that, that they're not the only ones playing Dungeons and Dragons with their tween. Yes. Uh huh. Got it. Uh, and so then you build these audiences, yeah. and then you're teaching people how to do affiliate marketing, basically. And, affiliate or marketing, create products, create write, products books. write books. Mm -hmm. We've got nine different monetization methods that um, I've used and I've uh -huh. grown. So this um, is a full-on program at this point. The monetization one is kind of a side. We mm -hmm. focus just on building the audience, yeah. and then if people want to know how to monetize it, yeah. honestly, you can only be truly good at one thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay at monetizing in all those nine methods. I've yeah. made over three thousand dollars a month on each of them, but I know people who've made hundred thousand on each of those monetization methods. Yeah. So I kind of give that a little lesson. taste and yeah. then direct you to the person who's best to teach those. Yeah, so, got that. Yeah. So you've been at this um, for, uh, well, you said your kids are up to 12 now, so you're, yeah. you've been at this for a decade-ish. Yes, um, I've been growing audiences for over a decade. Uh -huh. So if you could kind of um, give your early um, overwhelmed mom uh, a bit of advice about how to have done this more smoothly or something that would have smoothed the road for the next person, what would it be? To, to interview your audience first. Mm. Find out what they say about themselves. Mm -hmm. Create content that says that. Literally co create content that says that because mm -hmm. people just want validation. They want validation of who they are. They want to look good to their friends and family on social media. So when they comment on your post, they're commenting knowing that their sister's watching their comments. They're sharing knowing that someone's seeing their shares. So they're not going to share my story of my success. Mm -hmm. They're going to share something that tells them that they're successful. So the like or the po or the comment is really um, more about how they look out there. It's all about your audience and not about you and mm -hmm. not about your product. I can sell more of my product without my face on it. So basically, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people that love personal branding. So it's, it's kind of the right. opposite of personal branding a little bit. It's the opposite of personal branding because you're not branding uh, yourself. You're branding your audience. You're branding your audience as a group of people that are quirky, weird in this particular weird way, and and, and are proud about it. Yeah, or they love their local town. You're a realtor, and mm -hmm. you're branding the people that love this town. And mm -hmm. you happen to say the lost dog is near the house that you're selling on this street. If mm -hmm. you're interested in buying the house right there. Yeah. So you're collecting though the people that when you're collecting them, you're collecting the people who love a certain topic. Yeah. So I collect crockpot people mm -hmm. and I love crockpot people and we talk about crockpots and I help them look like good cooks to their friends and family with the content. Even though I don't cook. Mm -hmm. My cat people, I don't own a cat, but I love cat people too. Mm -hmm. I can talk that I'm my cat's mom. Because I interviewed my cat people to find out what they say about themselves. Mm -hmm. And they say things like, I'm my cat's mom, I'm a crazy cat lady, mm -hmm. um, I take care of cats. So the mm -hmm. words that they literally use, mm -hmm. I will use those words in all of my content. And then let it just be viral. Do you advertise? Um, we do some, I do advise some advertising. Mm -hmm. So that's just to find where your diehard fans are. Mm. So with cat people, I had to find out where that cat people are most passionate and most active mm -hmm. on Facebook. So I can find that cat person that knows all the other crazy cat people. And so if I find her, mm -hmm. she's going to share that content. And when she shares it, the people who see it are also cat lovers. Right. And so now my content has a chance of amplifying. Mm -hmm. So I use ads to target that, that specific person to start my page. Um, so hold on, you, you said you use ads to find out where they are. So, but you can find yes. out where they are without the ads. You can find out where they are without the ads, mm -hmm. but it takes a little bit more time. Uh -huh. Now when I use my ads, uh -huh. I use like $2 a day. Sure. So we, the, one of the pages that we grew, the introvert I told you who grew her page to a million, mm -hmm. she did it with $683 in total ad spend. In total. Uh, and so, so you're, um, you're putting out these low dollar ads, getting a bunch of views and, and some clicks or whatever, the, comments. The goal in that is to find where people are most active like in that Like what niche. pages, where the big so pages are. For like in cat niche, I didn't want the big cat pages. Uh -huh. What I wanted was the cat page that has everyone who can't help themselves but comment and share and like whenever mm -hmm. I post a cat thing. Uh -huh. So I found them so at the no kill shelters. Ones. I could find the big oh. cat pages, but they had people who weren't necessarily they loved cats, but they yeah. weren't passionate, gung-ho, yeah. crazy boncos about cats. Right. I found the bonco crazy ones inside of no-kill shelters. Uh -huh. So now I don't want to target grumpy cat, uh -huh. even though they're a massive cat one. Sure. I don't want to target, you know, I love my cat, even though mm -hmm. that's a massive audience. Right. I want to target these big cities and their no-kill shelters mm -hmm. because that person who likes that page, they also are friends with the most other cat people 
and they can't resist a cat in their feed, they have to comment and share. So then they push my content out to the world. Yeah, very strategic. It's really fun. And yeah. audience insights in Facebook tells you exactly who the most active people are, so you know where you can begin um, putting that $2 of ad spend. Yeah, very interesting. So um, gosh, what do you feel like, I mean, building audiences sounds like the obvious answer here, but um, what do you feel like your unique skill set is? <laughs> Collecting people. <laughs> Collecting people. It's a little okay, bit sketchy. Essentially, if you love people, <laughs> always alive? that sounds weird. Yeah, it sounds weird. I don't know why I say that one. I mean, it sounds weird, but it's, uh, truly that's what it is. is yeah. um, if you love people, uh -huh. you're going to serve them and you're going to ask them, how can mm -hmm. I make your day, your life better? Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you love them, you serve them. You can also sell to them because it kind of changes the sales perspective mm -hmm. from I'm selling you my product to I'm serving you and here's this product that's going to make your life awesome and amazing because you're already awesome and amazing, but it's going to make you even a little better. Right. Yeah. So, um, so the unique skill set in there was? Loving people. Just loving people, really. Yeah. Just giving a damn. Yeah, giving a damn. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah. I think that's, um, that's right. It's interesting because people, um, you know, in, in this chair a lot of times say things like, um, I, I, um, you know, I, I want to serve. I make sure it's all about them. I want to, you know, I, I don't talk about my problems. I talk about their problems. But at the, you know, underlying all that really is just is just really being motivated to make yeah. a difference. And make them look good because if mm -hmm. you truly love someone, you'll make them look good. And sometimes talking about their problems mm -hmm. makes them look bad. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in my DIY home site. If I talked about 10 ways to clean your carpets, uh -huh. what, and your mother or your friend shares it, yeah. what does that say yeah, about dirty carpets, them? Obviously. That they got dirty carpets. Yeah, gross. That doesn't make them look good. Right. So you want to share your content in such a way that makes them, your reader, look like they're amazing, even uh -huh. if their carpets are dirty. Uh -huh. So it'd be something like 10 ways to get your carpets to clean themselves, or uh -huh. 10 ways to encourage your husband to clean the carpets. Uh -huh. That, the carpet's not her fault now. Yeah. The lazy, carpet's cleaning lazy, itself. Lazy ass or husband, it's, yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. that's shareable. Uh -huh. So it's just positioning the same content in a way that makes your audience look good. <laughs> yeah, good insights. Um, what do you feel like you're learning right now? What is the what are you most engaged in like the next level for you? Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm like totally geeking out about marketing and everything else right now. So I'm, I'm stuck in that. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Funnels uh -huh. and Facebook funnels and the collecting audiences. The, the yeah. monetization part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even 10 years in, you've been at this for a while. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, y you like one thing, you just stick with it, you know? Uh, well, not, not, not you. You got cats and crock oh, pots. No, and it's the same thing, though. <laughs> I, it's just collecting different audiences, yeah. but I'm doing the same tactics with mm -hmm. those audiences. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, uh, what do you feel like your legacy would like? Would you like your legacy to be when you look back on your career 20 years from now? What do you want it to be? Have been all about? I would love for it to be that I've taught other people to love people better. Huh? Because that's what we're doing when we're marketing. Yeah. We're essentially, loving people and serving them and making a difference in our audience's lives. Uh -huh. And if I can help people make a difference in their customers' lives, that would be awesome. Yeah. What about people? What about people who don't love people? Well, then maybe you shouldn't go into marketing. Don't go into marketing. So you think it's, the, the, it's an intrinsic thing that you need to love people um, to begin with. And then, and then you're talking about... I like For the it. engagement, yes. Yeah. I mean, could you use ads if you didn't love people and, and kind of brute force yeah. sales? Yeah. True. But if you're going to get them to become a diehard fan of yours and love you and engage with you, you yeah. have to love them back. For it comes sure. across on the camera. It comes across in your content. Yep. Um, yeah, you have to love them. And so for you, it's about um, helping people express that in a way that works and feels authentic and... and, and makes a difference. Makes a difference, yeah. Got it. That's exciting. It is. So um, Modern Entrepreneur, we called it this to try and get at um, what it is that's unique about this moment in history and even in the 10 years that you've been at this or whatever it has been it's exploded it's it changed a lot right um, so what do you feel like it is uh, that's unique about about like being an entrepreneur today oh my word if we were an entrepreneur 10 years ago mm -hmm. we'd be using bulletin boards and and those street things <laughs> and like those people that put those signs out on this the road uh -huh. like they're like ten dollars a sign and they're like posting them on the side of the street I'm like that how's that working for you uh -huh. you know with <laughs> The, the sing, price of a single sign, uh -huh. we can reach a whole town uh -huh. using Facebook yeah. and get those people to talk to us. Mm -hmm. No one's talking to that sign on the side of the road that someone's putting out in, yeah. in little, yeah, so. So our ability to reach audiences is reach, obviously... target. It will become more expensive because uh -huh. those people who are doing the door-to-door, -door, putting the 
lanyards on people's doors and stuff, mm -hmm. the you know those papers that we all have stuffed in our doors, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going to go down, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to see a decrease in that. We're going to see a decrease, I think, so in the move, junk mail yeah. in our e in our physical box mm -hmm. as people are moving um, more to. They're realizing that Facebook and Google and regular businesses are seeing mm -hmm. the the benefit of going online. Mm -hmm. And that also means it's glutted, so our ad prices are going up. Yeah. Which is why I'm in demand, because I help you have lower ad prices. <laughs> because you're doing it in. Uh, With $2 viral, a day. Yeah. yeah. yeah that awesome. reaches millions. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, hey, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for here. having me. This I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. I really yeah. liked that conversation. You. Would you uh, sign our wall? Of course. Awesome. Thank you.